Hello, I'm James Buckley. And I'm Claire Buckley. And we're in the hottest room in the world right now. <laughs> and smallest. Absolutely. Hottest and smallest. <laughs> That's you. We're here with Sky and we're celebrating one of the new TV shows, the second series of Gangs of London. Yeah. We're celebrating that specifically because we're going to play a little game called... Cockney Rhyming, Rhyming Slangs, Slangs of, of London. London. We're here with Greg Davies now and we're going to check out, see how good he is with his old uh, Cockney Rhyming Slang. Are you hot on the, your cockney I'm rhyming hot. slang? I'm hot. You are I'm hot. Rhyming slang. Right. And I'm hot. It is hot, isn't it? Yeah. It is hot in here. <laughs> it is hot. Terribly hot in this room. Yeah. Right, round one, Greg. I don't even know what the competition is, James. It's not a competition. I don't know what the <laughs> game is. No, this is... <laughs> Let me explain to you what's going on. The game is called Cockney Rhyming Slangs of London. Wow. Round one. Right. That's the first round. Uh, is the Cockney rhyming slang real or fake? Oh, I get it. Right, so we'll write, read out some phrases. And all you have to do is tell us whether it's a porky pie. Lie. Or Irish stew. True. True. There Correct. Right. And also, there's an extra point if you uh, if you can tell us what the con- Cockney what? rhyming slang means. Yeah, I mean, this what it's is, slang for. This is high octane stuff. It's pretty exciting. Do you want me to hold this up? You can, or you can say the words, whatever you prefer. Right, you ready for your first one? Yeah. Okay. Shoreditch High Street. Oh, boy. It is a lie. It is a lie. It's not real. Give yourself a little point there. This is low rent. That's all right. No, it's all right. It'll work. It'll be fine. Itchy ring. That's real in our house. <laughs> yeah, it's real in mine. But I don't think it's Cockney rhyming slang. It's just, uh, it's just an unfortunate symptom of summer. Are you sure? Bam! Pork pie, it was true. Did she ring? Does that make you hungry at all? <laughs> no. That's a shame because that is Cockney Raymond slang for Burger King. Burger King? Yeah. yeah. No, it is. Is Her- it? Ready for your next one? Ready. Bear's Lair. It sounds like, but gut instinct tells me no. No, you're right. I'm right. You are right. Give yourself a point. Enjoy, oh, yeah. enjoy that. Here you go. Here's your last one for round one. Okay, mate. Lisa Tarbucks. <laughs> well, I guess that's Starbucks, is it? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'll give yourself two. <laughs> go on. Thanks. There we go. Look at that. I don't get two, do I? Yeah, you get two Look because you, you, you guessed it true, Andy. Yeah. Like this one was done. And that's only the first round. <laughs> How many rounds are there, James? Oh. There's three. All right. And then we've got something else to do with you later. Great, mate. Right, right round right. two. We're going to give you a Cockney rhyming slang. And these ones are all real. They're all real. But right. you have to use it correctly in a sentence. Lovely. Ricky Gervais. Oh, I've got some lovely flares. Stick him in the old Ricky. The old Ricky Gervais vase. <laughs> you gone with vase? Oh, God. Get me some eyeliner, will you? I look tired. My uh, my Ricky Gervais looks tired. Yes. Vase, yes. vase. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, yes. Give yourself a point. Enjoy that. Cheesy quaver. Oh, I'm going to go church on Sunday and, you know, worship my uh, Lord and cheesy quaver saint. <laughs> No, it's good. <laughs> it's good. It's not it's what we're looking very for. Very close. Oh. I'll do you a cheesy quaver and give you a point for that, even though it's wrong. Oh, thanks. That's a cheesy quaver. Yeah. She's done you a cheesy. Oh, she's done yeah. me a, an absolute solid. Bristol cities. Well, despite the fact that I'm a man, I have a giant pair of Bristol cities. <laughs> Absolutely, a nice pair of Bristols indeed. Much to the regret of my medical practitioner. <laughs> Okay. Bristol City's titties. Uh, give yourself a point, Greg. Come on. Me. Right, last round. Hit me up. Now, what we want from your brilliant mind, <laughs> pitch us a new Cockney Raymond slang to add to the dictionary. You've got 30 seconds. Right. There's your whiteboard. Start. We'll start the counter when you're ready. Okay. Before you do these sort of things, you should get a fan in this room because it's as hot as council trucking. <laughs> I love it. Give yourself a point, Greg. In the dictionary, that's going straight in there. It's council going truck. In the dictionary. <laughs> and we're also celebrating Rob and Romesh versus the uh, second best duo uh, around at the moment after us, I reckon. Of course. Uh, but just to make sure we know who's the best, well. we are going to be putting them against this. Test your strength. We're also going to be doing all the other celebs here tonight, so let's see who comes out on top. Uh, I did attempt to have a go of the uh, test. test. They wouldn't let me. They just said, no, we can't have you anywhere near it. You'll destroy it. Too strong, Uh, clearly. Uh, And we're here with Greg Davis. Famously strong. Absolutely, incredibly strong. Uh, You played 
this before, haven't you? I beat Anthony Joshua. Yeah, so no yeah. pressure. And he got genuinely wound up afterwards because he knew I beat him. Well, Danny Mays was up before you and he managed to score 80, which is quite high up. Well, I'm not being arrogant, but I fancy my chances to get Mays oh, against Mays. You Fun. get to spin this little wheel. What for? To see how many goals, see how many you, goals you get. Hey. Oh, he's gone for they one. One goal. Oh. I'll go 90 there. Yeah? I'll go 90. Yeah. I'll go 90. Yeah. You got a new leader. Well